Hey, Catherine. Hey. Hey, hey. Hi. Good morning. I'm good. How are you? I am good. Sorry. I had an electrician at my house, so oh, I just no got worries. them out. I get it. I get it. I love this cover photo right here. This is really cool. Did you create Thanks. this? Um, I have my videographer who's also my photographer. He does extra stuff. Like he's designed my signs and stuff like that. This is my, um, you're on my, this is my homepage right here though, right? Yeah. This is your personal page and I'll kind of cover the importance of this one. But, um, yeah, we got our personal page and our business page. Let me pull up your business page as well. What's, what's that one? Um, Catherine Braun Realtor EXP. Catherine, Realtor EXP. I love EX. Actually, I spelled Realtor wrong. I love EXP. I was actually at a convention last year with a ton of EXP agents. I just love EXP. Let me. Yeah, um, I just walked over from Keller Williams, but it's been fine. I don't think it's probably good for newbies, but whatever. I mean, if you sold enough houses, you're okay. Is that but, what it is? Um, it mainly because you're on your own, pretty much, right? Oh yeah, I mean, I, it's a it's a really cool avatar world where you can go in and ask mm -hmm. questions. But I think as a new agent, you need to be with some people. <laughs> right, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. You just, I, I barely realize that right now. You're right. As a brand new person, you'd probably be lost. Yeah. As a you know, as a license as a new license agent, I, I'd be, yeah, I'd be lost. Interesting. Cool. So are you, are you doing any, any Facebook ads on this page at all? Or what are you doing on social media to kind of, you know, build in, build your business? Well, um, well, I'm kind of starting over. So I was an agent in Florida for a couple mm -hmm. of years mm -hmm. and I did really well in their top 20% at Keller Williams. And then we relocated here here for my husband's job at Coca-Cola in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I joined Keller Williams here as what was to our team sold about 30 houses for them last year I, I know the community well i feel better totally went off on my own um back on my own again joined mm -hmm. exp just to kind of break away from the old people i was working with mm -hmm. and um so i'm ready to get back started i've just i haven't done a lot of social media I mean, I, need, I have to even build friendships here, right? I mean, mm -hmm. that's where I'm at now. Um, I have just hunkered down. I'm mostly looking for listings and I, my business mostly comes for, for sale by owners and I probably have about 600 contract right now. Wow. Amazing. So then you're not hurting for business, right? Some, 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 client, some agents that I speak to like are, you know, obviously struggling. Not everyone's closing deals, right? But then, it, but then some are just fine off offline and just doing enough deals offline where social media is kind of just a second thing or it's just kind of, you know, on the back burner type of thing. Are you really yeah. looking to build something over here? Well, this is what I want. I want listings. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go by Zillow or realtor.com mm -hmm. like I have in the past. I don't mm -hmm. like jumping over the couch to answer the phone. Mm -hmm. So I'm focused on listings and I'm focused on building a sphere mm -hmm. and, um, and I know one of the things I wanted to do with the Facebook is because um, a lot of people see my ads, but they're in Arkansas, they're in Florida, where the bulk of my real estate people are, my past clients are. That's mm -hmm. not doing me any good. What so ads are I, those? Huh? What ads would those be? What ads are you referring well, to? Well, I'm just saying anything I'm running, if I'm just posting it and they've liked my, because oh, I've gotcha, got gotcha. my yes, yes, yes. people on my page. Mm -hmm. Those are Florida people. Mm -hmm. they're not oh, yeah. Florida people. Oh, you couldn't have said it better. And I'm going to touch on that. Oh, Catherine, you could have not said it better. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of give you my two cents on that, but go ahead, go on. So, um, I definitely, I do have a small sphere, um, here and I really thought about making just a Noonan group. I don't think it's worth me spending money and sending everything out to my sphere. I mean, mm -hmm. I know I can get referrals. I've kind of just mm -hmm. let that go, um, with mm -hmm. Florida just because it's just, I don't know. It's just way too much for me to deal with right now. I'm just going to work with my area, you know? Um, and that's Georgia, right? Yeah. I'm in South Atlanta. You're in South. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. And, um, 
So, but I do, I did think about making a little Facebook group of just my people in this area, mm -hmm. past clients, anybody I know from church, anybody I know from my kids groups, they're mm -hmm. in high school. So any kid parents I know. And when I do sponsored ads, um, <clears throat> even it's a just, it's just a just listed or whatever, but I want to target them mm -hmm. to make sure they get it. Yes. You know what I mean? To get in yes. front of them. It's just that, yes. Hey, Catherine's busy. She's a realtor. Hey, Catherine's busy. She's a realtor. Mm -hmm. Um, but I haven't done any of that. Okay. And, um, I just started running a few sponsored ads, but, um, the whole time I was a listing agent on the team that went through, um, the Vincent, team with Keller Williams. He mm -hmm. paid for all of those. So mm -hmm. I've just back started running a few ads when um, I've had a listing or an open house. So I haven't done them for two years. Gotcha. Now. Gotcha. I appreciate all that info there. That helped me a lot to kind of understand where you're at. And what I can do is just, just in the next few minutes, just kind of share, share a few steps, like, and, and just kind of give you some context of where I'm even getting these steps from. Um, over here on, on my personal page, if you look at this, this friend count over here, 5,000, every single one of them, Catherine, except for one, like it's a public list. You can look at every single one of my friends, every single one of them, except for one. So that means 4999, right? Every single one of them, except for one, which is this one right here, Melina. Every single one of them is an agent. Melina's my wife. She's not an agent. But every single friend that I have, 4999, are real estate agents. That started in 2016. So my whole background is just marketing and advertising. I started, I started really trying to master the art of what it takes to capture a lead on the internet. I started that back in 99. So I've just been on the internet capturing leads for about 20, 21 years now. That started in 1999. But in 2010 is when I became a lender. So I jumped into the mortgage industry here in San Diego. I was licensed for the state of California and licensed for the state of Washington. And we did very, very well in mortgages. And, and to this day, my best friend still owns that brokerage. They do very, very well. But I ran with them from 2010 to 2016. And in that six year period is where I obviously networked with a ton of realtors. And I, I had you know many of them come into our bank to get their clients approved. And I, I just started realizing that the majority of them, because I had a marketing background, I started noticing and realizing that the majority of them were not leveraging social media. And any agent that was actually trying to advertise were buying Zillow leads or realtor leads or sending out direct mail or door knocking. They were still doing offline activities that were very expensive and just not, not, not giving them the ROI. And I'm knowing this as a lender, right? I'm just kind of doing my own due diligence and I'm like, I'm analyzing what, what, what realtors are doing to try to get business. And so in 2016, fast forward in 2016, I leave mortgages to start consulting real estate agents on social media marketing. And so in 2016, my whole big epiphany was, okay, how it started with a question asking myself, I said, how am I going to reach all these agents? Like, I'm not going to go back to my existing network and start, you know, everyone that I did a mortgage with, I'm not going to say, Hey, John, I helped you with your client last year, do a mortgage. You want me to help you with your marketing services now? Like I wasn't going to be that guy. I wasn't going to telemarket. I wasn't going to door knock. I wasn't going to just, you know, random marketing for, for agents. What I did in 2016 is I literally removed all of my real friends off of Facebook. Like my mom, my in-laws, like my cousin, my own brother. Like I started removing all my real friends off of Facebook, put them all on my Instagram because my strategy here was to fill up my friend list with agents. And that's what I successfully did. And there's a reason why I'm telling you this, but in 2016 that started. And I didn't know exactly what I was going to do. I just knew I wanted to help you guys somehow, some way market over here, but I didn't know exactly what. And so in 2016, as I'm requesting a bunch of real estate agents and I get up to a thousand, I get up to 2000, up to 3000, up to 4,000. This was all 2017, 2018, 2019. I started realizing and I started seeing patterns. When you follow thousands of people who all have the same interest on social media, you start to see patterns and habits you start to see what everyone's posting when you follow thousands of people Catherine who literally all have the same job you really start to see what everyone's doing and I'm here to tell you everyone's doing the same dang thing 
So I'm looking how everyone's, I'm, I'm watching how everyone's posting their listings, how everyone's marketing their open houses. I'm seeing how they're all posting it for the world to see. When the world over here on our personal page, let's just go back to this personal page really quick. Your, your, um, actually, where's your personal page? This one, your 1626, as you're, as you mentioned a few minutes ago, these folks are Florida. These folks are Arkansas. These folks are across the country, right? People that are on this list. So I'm starting to follow thousands of agents. I'm like, wait a minute, you're posting your open house, but you're in Florida. I'm in San Diego. That's totally irrelevant to me. And then I knew that the majority of their friends, like if I'm, if I'm someone's friend and I'm in California and they're in, in, in Tennessee, I knew that the majority of their friends were also across the country. And if all their friends are seeing that open house and they're just like me, they're, it's irrelevant to them as well because we're all on social media. We're all across the country. It's very hard to fill up our friend list with thousands of people who live in your farm. Like that's not going to happen like at all at all. So I'm starting to see all this stuff and I'm like, wait a minute, everyone's trying to market their business, but everyone's missing the basics. And that's kind of where the epiphany in 2018, I ended up writing a book about this and it's the social real estate agent, five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. So everything you're looking to do, Catherine, find that next listing, close that next escrow. It's here on social media, but I broke it down to five basic steps. And then I truly believe like once I show you these basics, you'll be like, man, that makes sense. And, and that's all you should be doing. A lot of us that are building businesses, we think that social media is where we need to be, which is, which it is, but we need to narrow it in because as you start to build out these platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, maybe, maybe your YouTube channel, if you're doing video, as you start to build out these, these different platforms, you're going to notice that the majority of all of them are across the country. So that's not what we, what we need to be doing. Posting all over the place and trying to, trying to keep up with the Joneses on every platform is not what you need to be doing at all at all. So what I can do is I can just show you these basics and, and hopefully they make sense. But this, this page, this personal page, this is where it starts. Like this page is more important than, than, you, can, than you can imagine because this is where you're connecting with everyone. This is where you're going to be meeting people. This is where you're going to be accepting friends. Whether, whether we're meeting locally, we're connecting here. Whether we're meeting virtually, like you and I are today, we're connecting here. We became friends here before I ever knew you had a business page. So it's this page right here that just needs some simple updates and some simple edits. And this is what I call step one. Because here's what's happening. As people come to your page, majority of them are not going not gonna to know you. Um, Majority of them are, 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 are going to be across the country, but because we're building a business, there's a handful of links that you want to put in this intro. And I see this by the thousands. So again, the reason why I told you the 5,000 is, is to tell you that I've seen what thousands of agents are doing and 100% missed the basics. So since 2016, I've now helped hundreds. I've spoken to thousands and I've looked at tens of thousands of people of pages, of Facebook pages alone when, when it comes to real estate agents. So I, I, I see what, where the hole is. I've spoken to thousands of you guys. Everyone tells me the same thing. And so that's what helped me break down these five steps. So here's, here's what I can, I can really help you with. Over here on this, on this personal page, and, 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 it's, and, and we're going to you know, bring it over to the business page as well, but here's where you should start. is simply editing this intro right here. Here's what it should, it should list. Right now you have intro and you have realtor and you have the EXP link. And then you have realtor and then you have the KW and then you have studied, went, lives from, married. Here's what you kind of want to add. And let me show you my friend Candy. So as I come to your page, this is what I see. And the reason why this intro is so important is because when I land here for the first time, I obviously see the image and the image pops. That's, that's the first thing I told you. I said, man, I love that image. The image obviously pops. That's the first impression is either that cover photo or the profile picture, but obviously the image is, is somewhat the first impression. But as a person comes to your page and they scroll down and they could be doing it on a, on a computer or their cell phone, it's the same thing. It's this intro that I'm gonna see next. I see the intro before I even see the full first post or the recent post. Like I gotta scroll more down to see the full recent post, but if I just scroll a bit, I see the intro. 
And, and again, because we're building a business, I have to lead my friends. I have to lead these followers to where I want them to be led. And it starts with links. So here's what you should, here's what I recommend you, you add over here. So again, here's your page and then here's my friend Candy's page. So I come to Candy's page, I scroll down just a bit and this is her intro. So again, I see this by the thousands where an agent will have real estate agent or they'll have realtor or whatever you want to title yourself, but the link is your brokers. And so little do you know how many of your 1600 friends actually clicked on EXP's link thinking it was yours, thinking they were supporting you when they're not at all. God knows how many of your 1600 friends are actually following and liking their link, right? Because you have it shown. Now, if your 1600 friends are, are majority realtors, title reps, escrow officers, lenders, then they know for sure this isn't your link. But if you're filling up your 1600 friends with average people, people that you could possibly do business with as far as maybe listing their home or helping them purchase in the future, I would assume that the 1600 majority of them are maybe average people. And those average people who are not in the business don't know that's not your link. They think it is because it's listed. So rather than listing EXPs like Candy, what she did is she simply listed hers. So that's why I didn't even know you had a business page until you sent me an invite because it's not listed. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. So basic, like this is basic, like this is basic. This is step one. And this is where a lot of the traffic is, is, is not being, not being led. That link should be your business page. And then as you scroll down, what does she also show me? She's showing me all of her platforms, her Instagram, her Twitter, her Pinterest, her LinkedIn, her .com. And if you look closely, which you don't even have to look close, everything is identical. <laughs> So yeah. this right here is basic social media branding. The same way you would brand yourself offline, you'd put your face on every business card. You would put your face on every for sale sign. You'd probably put your face on your decal on your, on your car door. As you're, as you're driving around, you got your magnet on your door if you even have that. But your branding is everything offline. On social media, it starts here, like basic. Branding these links, listing the links first of all, but then also going, going a step further and, and, and just setting them all up under the same name. That way, when we come here, it's hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties. Like when I come to your, like the only thing I want to know is Catherine Ron, Catherine Ron, Catherine Ron, Catherine Ron. But see, I already know that just the basic over here, if I come to the business page, this is what I'm referring to. It's the at sign. So facebook.com at, see, so we're already, we're already thrown off. If it's, if it's Catherine Ron Realtor, or if it's Catherine Ron Homes, or if it's Catherine Ron Realtor, or if it's Catherine, or if it's, or if it's selling Coetta, is that how you pronounce it? It's how we got, that's the county. Yeah, the county. So we got to kind of choose one, like choose one name and simply customize your platforms and get everything listed on your personal page. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring them over here to the about section of your business page. Where's the about section? Cause this is a new layout. Okay. Here's the about section. So right here, right where it says additional contact information, right where it says more info, I should see all of your links right here, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter. And even if you're not on these platforms, Catherine, you still want to get them up because here's I the deal. Have one for all of them, except for Twitter. Like, but I just, when I started my KV core, mm -hmm. I, I made sure there's a Pinterest business, the LinkedIn. I connected all of those two. Perfect. But yeah, they're not all named the same. Exactly. That's what I always get. So that's, that's the key is getting everything. And, and, and all it is, it's not that it's required. I'm just, I'm just looking from a branding perspective. Like, doesn't that look a little better? Like to just have one name for everything, right? Like yeah. and having it listed, that looks a lot better for your brand. That's all. And so when, when people come to your personal page again for the first time, they see it right away because here's the reality. Just because Catherine and David connected on Facebook, how do you know that I don't spend 57 hours a day on LinkedIn? Right? You don't know that. Yeah. And, and, and what you do want to know from this point on as an entrepreneur, as a businesswoman, as someone building a real estate empire that you're, that you're about to build, what you do want to know is where the audience is at. Not that you have to be a Twitter person or a Pinterest person or know everything about LinkedIn. You actually don't. And it's not even that you have to be posting on all these platforms. You actually don't. What you just need to know is where's the audience. Here's the audience. The audience is on Facebook, 
Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. That's where that, those are the top five. We're, we're talking billions of people, every past client, every existing client, every future client you'll ever close escrow on is literally on one of those platforms. Yeah. So, so, so although TikTok and all these other ones are, you know, coming out, it's like, no, my, my demographics, I would assume that your demographics is 25 and up. If you're closing deals and your clients are at the age of at least 25 minimum and up, they're on one of those. So all you want to do is have them listed. That's all. It's not that you have to be a social media butterfly and posting on all these platforms. You actually don't. I'm going to advise you not to, to tell you the truth. I'll get into that. But you want to at least have them listed because you and I, we got, we connected. We're now communicating. We're now on a Zoom call all because of a Facebook message. That could have been a Twitter message. It could have been a Pinterest message. It could have been a LinkedIn message. It could have been an Instagram message. So, so this is where people are communicating and you got to just have them listed because I see them here in the first place in the intro, right when I come here. But then also if I click about, cause that's what people are going to do. Who's Catherine. Let me follow Catherine. Let me see what she's about. If I click about, here's what show what, where I see it also contact and basic info, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties. Everything is one name. So as people do due diligence on you, they click about, they're going to follow you on one of these platforms. So, so not only do we get them listed on the personal page, but you want to get them listed on the, on, um, on the about in the about section on your business page as well. So here's, here's Candy's about over here. Um, let me go. Um, let me close this out real quick. Okay. So if we click about on her business page, there's the about, and then she'll have everything listed down here. Hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties. There are all of her social media links. Mm -hmm. So again, basic stuff, man. Basic stuff that, that I just see by the thousands, everyone miss. And I truly believe your next client is somewhere on social media. It's going to be one of those platforms. So get them listed. Okay. That's step one. That's step one. Here's step two. Here's what you want to do next. And this is kind of how we got here. You sent me an invite to like your business page. Because I have 5,000 agents or 4999, because I have all these agents, everyone does that, Catherine. As I'm telling you, I see what everyone's doing. Everyone's doing the same thing. So just like you're clicking invite, every agent's clicking invite. And so when I go to anyone's business page and I, and I um, kind of just, I, 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 I accept the invite and I end up looking at their page, 99.9% .9 of every agent will have a few hundred likes. You, you are somewhat on the higher end. And I'm talking about at this point, since 2016, as I mentioned, I've looked at tens of thousands. And I know that's hard to, to, to believe, but I have. Like, I have 5,000 friends. Those 5,000 are not the same from 2016. I'll unfriend a few. A few will unfriend me. And then I'll just get new. But like, the same way you have a buyer list or, or a prospect list or a potential seller list, I have my list as well. And that's kind of my list, that 5,000. So I keep that 5,000 fresh at all times. So at this point, I've literally seen thousands of pages and tens of thousands of business pages. 99% of them have a couple hundred likes. You're somewhat on the higher end, but at the same time, it's still considered low. What I would do, here's step two. You have to, your next Facebook ad should be a like ad. It's not an ad you're gonna run all the time. It's not a monthly ad. It's not a lead capture ad. It's a like ad. It's one simple Facebook ad, an engagement like ad is what Facebook calls it. It's one simple ad that you want to run for at least a month. Like run that ad, take that number up a few thousand. You don't need tens of thousands. You just need a few. Like take that, six, take that 682 to maybe, to maybe 2,600, 3,600. Maybe just take it to 1,600. Put a comma in that number, but do it fast. That's the first impression when it comes to the business page. So as people come to the business page for the first time, it's not that they're looking for your likes. Oh, let me see how many likes Catherine has. It's not that they're, they're asking themselves. They're not saying that to themselves at all. It just sticks out like a sore thumb. I come here, I see 682. I come to Candy's page, I see 3,500. I don't know Catherine, I don't know Candy. But 3,500 perspective, perception, I'm just thinking she's the queen of real estate. I don't know her, but man, 3,500 people following her. What the heck is she doing? Right? That's the first impression. So all yeah. she did is she ran a simple Facebook ad and took her likes from about 300 to 3,500. And she did that in about a week. That's step two. 
You want people to come to this page, see a few thousand likes and be, oh, wow, Catherine must be crushing it. That's the perception we need. That's what we call social proof. That's basic online credibility. And that goes a long way when people can think that you're really, really doing it. And, and that's, the, that's, the, that's the sad part is that I'll look at so many pages. I'll see 200 likes. But this is a person that's been in practicing real estate for 30 years and the best of the best. But I don't know her. No one knows her except for her circle of influence. But when we look at her page, she has 200 likes. We instant disqualify her. And that's, that, I think that's stupid. I think it's sad because she's a top producer. But online, no one knows it. I'm looking at 200 likes. Right. So someone like that, that's why it's like, man, it's so but after 30 years, she doesn't care because she's got her. exactly right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. But to somebody that's actually now trying to find new business on social media and build at least some type of presence here. That's all I say. Just take it up a few thousand. Yeah. So it reflects who you really are. Right? You can never have enough clients. I agree right? with that. Right. And that's exactly. why they say even you should be, I probably should have a little bucket of buyer leads, but mm -hmm. as long as I'm having a good salary with sellers, I don't want to do those, but I am interested in social media. Yes. Here, here's what we bring to step three now. So here's again, what is happening by the thousands, what I see by the thousands. And this is to touch on what you mentioned a few minutes ago, how you'll get, you'll get people to comment, you'll get people to engage, but they're across the country. And that's because as we scale this number up from 1626 and we take that number to 2600, 3600, 4600 friends, and it's the same for every platform. I don't care what platform it is. It's the same. As you take your Instagram followers up, it's the same. Majority of these people, and what I mean by majority, 99%. So I'll give you 1%. I'll give you 1%. They live in your local area. Those people are in your farm and, and you could potentially do business. I'll give you 1%. In fact, you know what? I'll give you 10%. 90% of the 1626 don't live in the area. And as you scale that number up, that 90% is a big number. They don't live in the area. I know it's 99%, but let's just say nine out of 10. They don't live in the area and the same for every platform. So again, what everyone's doing is they'll post their listing for the world to see when it's not the world that I need to see, I need to focus on my farm. So step three, what you want to start doing with these types of posts is you absolutely have to start running Facebook ads targeting that area. So whatever area you're farming, those are the only folks that need to see you on social media. And the way they're going to see you on social media is they're going to start seeing you in their news feed through a Facebook ad. That right there, if you can, if you can really grasp the, that, that strategy, I could stop here and you would crush it. That's the only brand that, that, that is the most powerful branding effect that you could be doing. It's not direct mail. It's not door knocking. It's not cold calling. It's not even getting Zillow leads and calling these people in that farm. It's branding. You got to be taken. If I keep, and even if you're not a video gal, if you're just posting images, if I saw that image, you in that, in that beautiful turquoise color blouse there or whatever you're wearing if i kept seeing that that would just stick out and if you live down the street from me and i keep seeing you in my news feed i'm not facebook friends with you i don't like your business page but i keep seeing that as an ad in my news feed i'm going to remember that that picture so whether it's an image or whether it's video your neighbors need to be seeing it not everyone on social media so that's why I tell people all the time, stop posting on all these platforms and take all your energy, all your resources, all your budget and focus on your farm. And the only way you can do that is by running a Facebook ad. That's why Facebook ads are so powerful because you can target. Mm -hmm. I could target my farm. Those are the only people that matter to me. Forget about everybody else. So step three is when you can start running these as weekly ads, but here's how you take it up a step further. You want to focus on one topic. So although you are a jack of all trades, meaning you know everything about real estate, you could school me on everything, short sales, foreclosures, forbearance. I mean, you could tell me everything, buying, selling, FICO, debt to income ratio, all this stuff you could tell me. But when it comes to step three, when it comes to now start and run Facebook ads to get the attention of our local audience, we want to focus on one topic. And, 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 and I kind of can, I, I can kind of assume that you're more of a listing agent because you kind of mentioned yeah. it earlier. Okay. Yeah. That's all I want to do. Okay. Here's what you want to start doing. Now, let me ask you this. Are you, are you into video? Are you comfortable with video? Are you doing video at all? 
Yes, I do a video awesome. on every awesome. listening. Awesome, 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 awesome. Let me, do you have them up here, over here on your, on your business page? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, here's step three, Catherine. Here is step three. Oh my gosh, you're going to crush it. You are going to crush it. This stuff gives me the chills when I see this. Because this right here, again, 99 point, and I don't mean to keep using the 99% number, but I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's true. Like, it's true. I've spoken to thousands of you guys. It is freaking true. 99%, it is what it is. 99% for the camera. So when I look at this, I'm like, dang, she's the 1%. Now, if I can just educate her and teach her how to, how to target it, that's when she takes over. So again, rather than showing this to everybody, the only people who need to be seeing this are people in that area. But here's the strategy. The strategy is weekly. The strategy is talking about one thing, and that's the process of selling. That's step three. When you can run weekly videos and educate people on the process of selling. Okay, the, pro the process of listing, the process of selling, what it takes to sell, blah, blah, blah. You know all that stuff. That is the topic for a weekly video. But I'm telling you, it's a strategy. The strategy is to run it weekly as if your life depended on it. It's weekly. It's not dabbling, run a Facebook ad, post, boost a post here, $15, turn it off. No, it's every week. Like run one every freaking week. That's the strategy. Now here's step four. As I see this video, let's say you're talking about the process of selling, you're educating me on what it takes to sell. That's what you're going to do. So, so if it's a listing, then that's one thing. You may have a listing and okay, we'll run a Facebook ad. You'll run a Facebook ad for that, for that week on the listing. And if that's the case, let me talk about the listing real quick since, since here's the listing. I should be seeing this in my newsfeed as a Facebook ad and you're targeting me because you live, because you live down the street. As I see this, let me go back let me, and let me, let me show you a real ad in, in, in the newsfeed. So as people are scrolling through the newsfeed, and this, this is going to apply for, for, for your video strategy, listings or, 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 or just educating people on listing. But here's what happens. As I'm in my, in my newsfeed and I'm just scrolling through, scrolling through, scrolling through, seeing what everybody's up to, and then all of a sudden I come across a sponsored ad. Let's see if we can find a sponsored ad, just a random one. Okay, perfect. Perfect example. Okay. Anytime you see the word sponsored, that's an ad. There's the text. There's a simple video. There's the learn more button. So imagine over here on your page, there's your video on this listing. That's step three, right? Whether it's a listing we have, whether it's an open house, if you don't have a listing or if you don't have, have an open house for that week of running your Facebook ad, then you're educating on selling, as I mentioned. But let's, let's focus on this listing right here. Here's what you want to be doing. There's the video. There's step three. Step four is when they click on learn more. Let me go back to that. Okay, here we go. So as I click on learn more, here's where you, where you have to be taking me. And this is where your KV core comes in place or comes, come, yeah, comes I've in. I've been in running them through KV core. So it, um, so they can only click on it like once and then they have to register and then that Perfect. goes directly into my database. Perfect. That's what you want to be doing. That's what it's all about, Catherine. So, so just like this one page, you have a one pager like this. This is a one page for the listing. So as I see that ad, as I'm scrolling through, scrolling through, and all of a sudden I see this video of this listing, I click on learn more and I'm taken to this one single page. Get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Schedule your private showing before the bidding war begins. Just a few bullet points. All, you could change all that stuff. This is just a template but it's to give you an example of, of all it takes is one page. A person comes down here, they click on that button and that's how you capture that lead. Mm -hmm. So the landing page, that's step four, landing pages, step four. Here's step five. As I capture that lead, step five is email automation. So if I'm inquiring, if I'm online and I see your Facebook ad, you're down the street, that listing is a few miles away. I click learn more. I come here, I opt in. Step five is email automation because Catherine's too busy building her business, raising a family, being a wife, being a mom, all that stuff. You're way too busy to be physically, physically trying to email people, leads, for example. Step five is email automation. The moment that person opts in, they need to receive an email right away. Hey, Dave, this is Catherine. Thank you so much for inquiring on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Let me tell you a little about this property. Let me give you a little background of what's going on. I'm super fired up for you to be here. Simple, simple email that would go out right away. But that's just the I initial. have that through KB Core. So yeah. 
when I set up my KV core, um, somebody put the drip campaigns in. So Perfect. if I do a selling ad, it's there. Um, if it's a Facebook ad, they get the Facebook ad campaign. Amazing. That's all it takes. So in your case, in closing, I could say, here's, here's the deal to conclude all this stuff. This is where you need to be. You need to be running this as a Facebook ad every week. That's it. But again, if you don't have a, if you don't have a listing or if you don't have an open house, you're going to focus on sellers. You're going to focus on educating. That should be a two minute video on educating me on the process of selling because you know everything, what it takes, you know what it takes to list, you know, all that stuff. Start educating your community on what it takes. Not everyone knows what it takes to sell a house. They, they, they own the home, but they don't know what it takes to sell. Not everyone knows how to sell. Not at all. So Catherine is coming in as the educator on how to educate. You're educating people on how to sell. And here's what you want to do with that. And I don't know if your KV core can, can, can do this part, but here's what you're going to need. So again, if you don't have a sell, if you don't have a listing, if you don't have an open house, your weekly video is talking about the process of selling and what you want to start doing is getting given out and getting out a seller guide. So as you start to do these weekly videos, here's the kicker. Let's say, for example, this was a, a weekly video educating us on the process of selling. This wasn't a listing. This, this is not your listing. It's not even for sale. But let's just say you were out here at this property giving us some knowledge on what you would do. Let's say you walk out to this property. Hey, guys, this is Catherine. Just wanted to give you guys some seller tips. I know that a lot of folks are selling this year. I wanted to kind of give you my two cents on what I would do and the type of strategies that I give my clients before they sell. I'm going to use this property as an example. You see these trees right here? What I would do, you guys, with these bushes right here is I'd probably trim them down. Like just little random stuff that you already know, Catherine. But here's the, here's the kicker. At the end of that two-minute video, here's what you're going to say. There's a call to action at the end of every video. So, so, so remember that part. There is a call to action at the end of every video. And the call to action is to click learn more. That's the call to action. So whether it was a listing or whether it was a seller, you're just giving seller advice. The call to action is, click, is to click learn more. So if this was a video of you simply giving us seller tips, at the end of that video, you would say, hey, and this is the last 10 seconds of the video. Hey guys, and by the way, click learn more. It will take you straight to my page where you can download your free 2020 seller guide. So now you're giving away something of value for free in exchange for their information. When you have a listing, they're giving up their information because they're interested in the listing. When you have an open house, they're interested in the, in the open house. But when you don't have that and you're just trying to educate people, you have to give them something up front for free. And the, and the most affordable, the cheapest, the most free thing for you is a PDF. For you to simply start giving away a brochure, a PDF, maybe five pages, 10 pages, EXP, I'm sure they have some, I'm sure your broker, whoever you're working with, you can, you can get your hands on a seller guide. So that's what you want to start giving away. If you start filling up this funnel with people in that local area, hundreds of people that are all downloading your seller guide, that's when magic starts to happen. Because now you're giving them, not only are you educating them up front, but you're also giving them something on the back end. And that's where your email automation, again, is going to come in handy. Because as this seller guide, as that person opts in to download it, that email automation needs to nurture that list. Hey, John, this is Catherine. Just wanted to follow up. Thank you so much for downloading my 2020 seller guide, your ultimate guide to selling your home fast. Just want to introduce myself, blah, blah, blah. But in these emails that are going to start going out automatically, the ones that you have right now, what you need in there, I don't know if you have it now, is a, is a, is an, is a link to an online calendar. That's what, that's what has to be in these emails because in the videos that you start releasing every week, the call to action is to click learn more. In the emails that are going out every week, every day, every other day, however you want to set the drip campaign, these emails that are going out, whether it's a listing, whether it's an open house, whether it's giving out a seller guide, these emails, the call to action is to get them to click the link to schedule a call. So you want to be able to have people go to your calendar, schedule a call, and book up a, book up a calendar on demand. 
And when you're, when you're doing this, everything becomes automated from the weekly videos that are going out 24 seven without you lifting a finger to people going to your landing page, opting in while you're sleeping to people receiving your emails and scheduling appointments while you're out at lunch with your family. It's all automated the entire process, but it all starts with a weekly ad. And that's what most do not do. They post this stuff all over social media for everyone to see when that next person is probably somewhere in their backyard, that next client. So, so if I can leave you with anything, here's what you want to start doing weekly videos as if your life depended on it. That's number one, but then also just a simple, some simple homework. Step one, that's where you want to start is, is get these links listed. Get, let, let's, let's, let's find that one name that you're going to create under everything and also get it as the dot com. So again, just like Candy, she also matched it with her dot com. So whatever that one name is, that's step one. And then step two, simply take your like count, take it up a little higher. Go from 600 to at least, at least 1,600, 2,600. I mean, take it up a few thousand. Um, is, is what I would, what I would recommend. And that's, again, that's a one-time ad. That's not an ad. You don't need 6,000. Like it's not an ad you're going to run all, run all the time. It's a one-time ad. That's where I would start right there. Get the links listed, run that like ad and, and then, and then, and then start, you know, trying to do your weekly videos. But the way I see your videos over here, if you can, if you could do one, you can do one every week, uh -huh. you know, and, and, but, but again, it's one every week and you're running it for seven days. You're doing another video, running it for seven days. And at the end of every video, there has to be a call to action to click learn more. Okay. And, and, and again, they click learn more and then they go, go over to your one page, which is what I call step four. They enter their name and email. Now they're in your drip system. That's step five. So Facebook ads is, is, is what you absolutely have to be doing. And, and the reason for it, let me leave you with this. The only reason for it, the only reason why Facebook ads is a must, the only reason is because you're a local business owner. If you were a nationwide brand, although you can close deals anywhere, I know you, I mean, if my wife and I wanted to move from here, you're, you're licensed for the state of, of, of Georgia, but if my wife, we're out here in California, if I wanted to move to Colorado and I reached out to Catherine, I said, hey, Catherine, you're my girl, you're my buddy, my wife and I, we're moving. We're going to Colorado. I know you're not licensed there, but can you make it happen? I'm sure you can. You could broker out that deal, make your split and make it happen, but I'm not your ideal client. So because you're dealing with clients locally, the only way I can get their attention is through a Facebook ad. If it's not that, I got a door knock. I got to send out direct mail. I got to do all the fancy things offline to get the attention of that local audience. When I can just run a simple video ad, spill my message to them in two minutes and it cost me a few bucks, you know, and that's the power is the fact that this video or actually the video. Well, yeah, wherever we're at. Yeah. The video, um, any of these videos, the fact is, is that this video, if you ran this video for a week, let's just say you would have ran it for a week, you would spend more Tonight on dinner with your husband and yourself, you guys would spend more at dinner than you would have spent for the entire week on this one video. And it had, and you would have got thousands of people in that area to see it. Like this is, this is so inexpensive. It's, it's not even funny. And it, that's why it just blows my mind on how we can sell a property this expensive, but we're afraid to spend a couple hundred bucks on the ad. Blows yeah. my mind. Blows and my I mind. did, I did run a video on that um, as far as the open house and it was a click to learn more. Um, I didn't get a good response from that video, but I think I ran like $25. I ran it or $50. I ran it for the whole week. You want but yeah, I think that's, that's the tricky part. Um, I've gotten to the point where I know how to do videos. I know how to run an ad, the KB course set up. I think I just didn't know exactly like that, that listing is actually in Whitesburg, which is not my town. It's a town over. So, mm -hmm. of course, I want to really focus on Noonan. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess I just didn't know how to. Um, I guess it doesn't. I, I don't know. I mean, the, the object is, is the main purpose to sell the house here or it's to get more clients, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, we want to sell mm -hmm. the house, but mm -hmm. to get more clients should... I, I mean, is it going to be ran, ran in Whitesburg, which is where I ran it in those towns where I feel like people would actually buy it and come to the open house or mm -hmm. do I run it here to get my list, next listing? How many, how many miles away are those two 
areas? Um, it's only a 20 minute drive for me. That's why this was a for sale by owner. That's why I have even that little barn house. You just saw the little mm -hmm. ranch mm -hmm. house, the old house with the green roof. Those were all for, every, actually every listing I have now is a for sale by owner, except for one. Mm -hmm. Um, so I will drive 45 minutes to an hour if I can get the appointment. See, you but can target because the whole area. I don't know people here. See, I am having to sell stranger, flat out for sale by owner stranger houses because I don't have a sphere. I don't have past clients anymore. See, that's what I'm trying to tell you, Catherine. If I keep seeing this in my newsfeed, and to answer your question, you could target the you could target that whole area. So you could take your physical address and you can map it out 50 miles northeast, south, and west, and you'd cover every location you're referring to. So the targeting isn't, isn't the thing. It's just, it's, it, it's, it's the setup. It's the fact that when I click on learn more, where are you taking that person? And, and, and so in this case, here's one simple open house page. The attention needs to be narrow. Like don't take me to some random website with a bunch of other listings. That's what, a, that's what agents do all the time. I'll click on the ad and they, say, they send me to their website where there's 15 other listings. It's like, no, keep my attention narrow. If it was an open house you were promoting, take me to one page that says that and make me opt in. Click here to RSVP. Like make me opt in. That's what it takes because at the end of the day, you're gonna have hundreds of people that opt in and yeah, that property is only going to one family, but those other 57 leads, they were interested as well. And that's why step five email automation is so important. Those other 57 people need to continue to hear from you. But my point is, is that if I keep seeing this video, if I keep seeing this blonde right here in my newsfeed, no one's going to question your credibility. You're going to end up, you think you don't know anyone in that area. Start running weekly ads. That whole town's going to know who you are. Seriously, that whole town will know who you are four or five videos in. Right. But see, that's what I didn't know. I mean, I just haven't studied up enough. Do I run it in Whitesburg or do I run it in Noonan where I really, really want to sell for the rest of my life? Okay. That's where, that's where you run it. That's where you run it. That's where you run it. I heard that with emotion. Really, 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 really want to I heard that was you put emotion in that one. That's where you target. That is your target. That's your only target. If you keep running these videos every week to that one target, you will crush it. That's it. Forget about posting on all these other freaking platforms. You focus on nothing but video ads every week. And again, you're not always going to have a listing. You're not always going to have a, a, an, an open house. That's when you have to start giving away something. Maybe give them a tip sheet. If you're focused on for sale by owners, why don't you put together a simple five page PDF educating people on why they need you or educating people on the difference between hiring an agent versus trying to sell it themselves. And you start targeting those folks to give away a free download to educate them. That's what you want to start doing. You want to start doing weekly videos, educating the for sale by owner. That's an idea as well. But, but again, it's all about that weekly video, getting them to click, learn more. And, and I, I just, I just truly believe most don't do a weekly video at all. And that, that's, that's, that's where your brand is hurting because that, yeah, that's why the area don't know who we are because we ran one video and that was last back in January. It's like, no, we got to run one every freaking week. You know, so that's the only thing you're missing. You have amazing video. And, and here also, by the way, this is too damn amazing. Like you don't need this type of production at all. Like you need your cell phone. That's it. Like forget about a camera crew. Forget about trying to hire an editor. No, none of that. Your cell phone alone is all you need for video. So keep that in mind. And, 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 and with, with, with that being known, that would allow you to dump these videos out every week like clockwork. Because you don't need to hire no one. You don't need to pay for anything. No editing. None of this fancy stuff. This is too fancy. It's too fancy. It's, it's amazing, but it's just, it's just not needed. I could have, you could have had your husband hold your cell phone and you would have did that same thing. Now, obviously, this has a ton of other, uh, um, 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 the video, like there's so much more to see of the product. It's an amazing video. Yeah, it's not a two-minute clip. It's showing the whole house. It's showing the whole then thing. It goes, then it goes out doors and then i'm going to sell the shop they have a 40 by 60 shop then i go into things into the community and then i close it yeah it's over the top a lot of people don't do it but it also when you get a great house like this i yes, want to show exactly. it to the next mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. and that helped that helped me close other deals you know oh, what yeah. i mean oh yeah i definitely get it so 
if you have these types of properties, for sure, go, go all in with, with video, with the production of it. But any other time, your cell phone is good enough. Like your cell phone is, is good enough. Um, but again, that, that's the strategy is, is just running one every week, every week in, until that whole town knows who you are. And it, and it, and it happens fast. It's not, we're not talking, you know, months. We're talking literally a few weeks. Like you run one every week for five, six weeks. That whole town knows who you are. You wouldn't be able to go to the grocery store without people recognizing you. Seriously, that's how it is. Because Facebook, everyone and their mother is on that newsfeed. So that's kind of what you want to do. Start running them weekly. Give away some type of, of, of free download, some type of free PDF, a seller guide, a buyer guide, a tip sheet on for sale by owner. Put together some type of free download. And, and, and there's always that call to action at the end of the video. That's step three, four, and five. And just make sure that that drip system is nurturing that, that list. And make sure that there's also a, a link to a calendar that people can click on to schedule an appointment. Because not every because if it's not that they're gonna ha, they're gonna have to pick they're gonna have to pick up the phone and call you because your phone number is in the email signature. That's that that that's a little bit more than people want to do right now. Or they'll have to reply to that email. Just provide a link. Click here to schedule your next call. Can't wait to talk to you. And so every email just has that call to action. Hey, and by the way, John, if you'd like to jump on a call, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule the time. Can't wait to talk to you. Like that's easy. That's super easy for a consumer just to click schedule. And, 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 and be looking forward to speaking with you. So there needs to be a calendar link in your emails is what I'm saying. Um, there should be. You can kind of do what you want to do, but, but there should be. Um, see, this, this is a good look right here. They just, you just need to be running these every week. So start with, start with the links. Get that one name. Think of that one name you want. Get everything set up. And then, and then have you ran a like ad before? No, uh -uh. Okay. So that one, that one might be a little bit more because the like ad you, you cannot, nor do you need to, nor do you want to just target your area because you'll spend an arm and a leg for seven likes. Like you don't want to do that. You have to target everyone on Facebook who fits the interest of home ownership. And it's just a quick boost. It's just to take it up a couple thousand and then you shut that ad off. Um, and then, and then step three is when you start running videos to your local area to capture leads. But by the time you do that, that number is at 2,600. You want people in that, in that area that you're farming to see that like number <clears throat> at a high number. That's why right. that- so The like number could be basically anybody. We don't care. It's just- We don't care. Better. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Like, it's like, fake. Okay. oh yeah, it, no, it's not fake. It's just, it's people from everywhere. Just like you have right now on your personal page. You got folks from all over the country. Same yeah. thing with this, the, the same thing with this. And that's why when you come here and you see 3,500, a person's not saying, well, Hey, who are those 3,500 and where do they live? The consumer's not saying that at all. They're just seeing the number and they're like, dang, okay, man, she must be really doing good. Right. So it's just the number we're after. We're just the number, yeah. it's just the number we're after, and 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 that's what you want to do like right away. So, if you haven't run a like ad, if anything, I mean, I can easily run it for you. Like you just pay for it, like whatever your budget is. Like I can easily run it for you. And the only thing I would ask for is a good review from you. Mm -hmm. So, I can easily do that, and that's what I did over here on my on my business page. Like, I think my last seventy something clients, friends, whatever you want to call it. But I think like over here on my personal, I mean, on my business page, it's what I did with the last, I think it's like 70 something, 70, yeah, 77. So all of these 77 reviews, every single one of them, you can click on all of them. Every single one of them is an agent. And all I really did is I helped them with, with either step one, helping them list all their links or step two, running the like ad. And then a handful of the 77 go on and they come back and they say, David, teach me step three, teach me how to run these Facebook ads to my local area. And then a handful of them, I help with step three. But that's what I kind of do in the beginning is just let, let's focus on step one and two. And then you can go from there. You know, well, so how are you with um, sticking with the KV core? Do you have a lot of clients with the KV core and you keep that running? So those people actually go to the database. Like I can, I can walk you through that, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, manage it or do anything like for like like that but i can easily coach you through it and, and help you with it um that's more step three four and five but yeah if, if we get there for sure i can help you with that yeah yeah i mean we would just have to create um just a little bit of a different drip for some of those 
Oh yeah, for sure. I can easily, I can easily help you with that. Once we, once we get to that part for sure, for sure. Just tell me what our, what, do we have a budget for the like ad? Like what can we run? What can we take the, take the like number up to? And it doesn't have to be that high. Like you don't, have budget, they want you to take it up. Like you don't need, you don't need that much. I mean, for example, with candy over here, she spent, I think she spent, where's she at? She's at 35. She spent 10 bucks a day. And I, and I think I still have her live ad. I mean, I, I think I still have her ad live right now. Let me, yeah, I, I, I still do. Cause we started at about, about 300 likes and now, and now we just passed 3,500, but she's, she's at 10 bucks a day. So she's running at 10 bucks a day for 30 days. You don't have to do that high. You can do that much. You can do more, but that's at 10 bucks a day. Five bucks a day would take you, take five bucks a day would take your number where you're at, you're at 682. Five bucks a day for 30 days would take that number to 2000. And that's kind of all you would need. Like, I mean, candy went a little higher, but I mean, you can go that high if you need to. I'm just here to tell you every agent has 300 likes. Yeah. So if I, I could just come to your page and see a couple thousand, I'm blown away. Yeah. No, you know, I agree. Cause I look at people's likes all the time. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. So just imagine that times a hundred. I've seen as many as you have times a hundred, literally, literally. And yeah, everyone has the same amount, a few hundred. So you can go five bucks a day. You can go 10 bucks a day. I mean, I don't think you really need more than that. And that's, and that's step two. And then whenever you're ready, we start doing, you know, I could start teaching you how to run the local ads to your local area. In fact, you might already know how to do that part, but I can kind of, if, we, if you need a, you know, a crash course, because there's a lot that you're, you're not doing on the Facebook ad side. Like I already know for a fact, there's a lot you're not doing. You're not well, I just kind of started on my own, but like right now I have one, two, three, four, five. I, well, one just closed. I have five listings under contract, one buyer. And Amazing. I still know that meal run house you just saw that big, big house is mm -hmm. still active. So I can do a lot with that one, but I have one, two, three, four. I have five listings right now that went under contract the first week. So, wow. I mean, it's so fast, like you really don't have, they do go under contract pretty fast. So you have to run them really fast. But I mean, I'm only been in a month by myself. So of course I'm swamped. I do have a transaction coordinator. So the paperwork is now off my plate. I have an admin, but um, yeah, I mean, I just got a list, a lot of listings really fast. They went under contract all at about, about the same time. They're closing all in September, awesome. all about the same awesome. time. So awesome. now I'm just kind of starting yeah, I mean, my focus is just to, for my people here in this town to see it over and over and over again and to build the listings as I build my That's relationships it. at church and school. That's it. Weekly ad, weekly video ad. That's it. Click learn more, go to my page, fill out my form. That is it. Yeah. That is it. That is all you should be doing. Like 1000%. There's nothing else. And I'm telling you nothing, nothing online, nothing on social media, nothing offline. There's absolutely nothing else. Now, if you're doing anything offline and you have an ROI, okay, cool. Stick with it. But I'm convinced that most aren't. They're just spending way more than they need to on anything offline when everyone and their mother is here on Facebook. So that's what it's all about is, is just running it like, like, you know, every week, every week. But at the same time, creating the credibility, getting the links up, getting that like count up. That has to happen first. That's just what I, I recommend. You know, take that number up a little higher. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm good with that. Okay. What, what should we do? Like what's our, how high do, do we want, do we want to go up to the 3000 mark or actually that budget would take the, if you went 10 bucks a day, it would actually take you up 3000. So this number would be at 3,600. So about 10 bucks a day for how long? You talking about a month? Yeah, for a month, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we could do something like that, like stay in the $250 range, something like that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. We could do that. And then what I what I'll do is do you know how to list everything like as far as the links? Cause I have a video, like I have a YouTube channel. Like I, I talk about this stuff every day on my YouTube channel. Um, my YouTube channel is growing like crazy, but I can easily send you a, a video that teaches you how to, how to set up step one. 
So yeah, that's fine. I can probably do that. Yeah, I'll send you I'll send you that video. And it's like a 20 minute video because I walk you through everything in detail. But once you watch it, like you'll list everything in two minutes. So okay. it's pretty it's pretty simple. So here's all I gotta do. All I'm gonna do is just request access to your to your business page really quick so I can um so I can run the ad. So I'll start the ad tonight and I'll send you an email um showing you the actual ad. All I do is I, I'll type in luxury homes in Atlanta or in Georgia. I'll type in luxury homes and then Facebook pulls all these images of, of beautiful homes, unless you have a home that you want me to run. But the like ad, it's simply a home. It's a general home, a beautiful home. That's the like ad. So if you have a beautiful image of one, I can use that or I can just pull one from Facebook. I normally just pull one from Facebook. In fact, that's what I was going to do. I was going to show you candies. This is the one I pulled from Facebook on Candy's page. This is her ad in real time. Let me show you this in the news feed. So as people are scrolling through, as they're seeing what everyone's up to, they're kind of just going down, going down, going down. And then all of a sudden they come across a sponsored ad. Where's the sponsored ad at? Let me close out a few of these. There you go. Okay. So there's the sponsored ad. So they're sponsored. I wrote out the text, love real estate, like page and share and Facebook provided the image. And that was just one image that I chose out of 300 but there's the, the, the call to action. So rather than learn more, the call to action is like page. That's a like ad. So with that, again, we st I, what's today? Today's Tuesday. I started this. It hasn't even been a week. I started this ad back on Wednesday. So it's been six days. Yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been six days. Six days. Yeah, she was at a couple hundred and now we just passed 35. And she'll go a little higher than that. But that's, that's kind of the like ad. So if you have an image, cool. If not, no big deal. I'll just, um, I'll just pull in from Facebook, but, um, all I'm going to do real quick. Are you on a computer or are you, are you on a cell phone? What are you on? My computer. Okay, cool. Do me a favor. Go to your, go to your business page really quick. All I'm going to do is just request access so I can run the ad, um, from your page and not need passwords or anything like that. And all you'll do, because sometimes I'm going to send the request, but sometimes you, you don't receive the notification, which I don't know why. But if you do not receive a notification here in two seconds, then I'll just walk you through on how to find it on your business page. Okay, let me know if you receive a notification. And it'll be from Inspired Digital. Where are the notifications on the business page? Just your in the top right, like your normal notifications, the bell, uh, the top right. I click. Um, let me refresh real quick. Yeah, it may not. It may not be there. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't come through, but that's fine. I'll walk you. I'll walk you through it. Let me go to um, my business page. Are you on this new template? This new format style of Facebook? Um, do you see, or, or is this your new, cause they just updated me yesterday. I, I, cause remember we had, the I don't one. know. It's, it seems pretty normal to me. Okay. So then you've been on the new one for a while. I just, they just switched me over yesterday. So I'm, I'm trying to navigate through this, but all you're going to do is go to your business page and then to the left, you're going to click on, um, page settings. Like, do you see this over here? Page settings on your business page to the left. And it'd be to the left, to the very bottom. I think it's at the top. What is it after page settings? You would click well, on I'm page roles. Setting. Page roles. Okay, I found it. Perfect. And then if you just scroll down towards the middle of the page, you'll see inspired digital and you'll see um, respond to request.
this Pinewood Christian Academy, what was that? Was that a college or was that a high school or what was that? That's a high school. I went to Georgia Southern University for college. Awesome. Okay, I clicked it. I, you should be there, I guess. Okay, cool. Did it ask you for your password? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, cool. So let me just refresh my end over here. And I'll just add myself to the page so I can start the ad. Okay, perfect. We're good. Okay, cool. And then I'll email you a picture of it. Um, so you'll see it. And then I'll email you the video for, for step one. And then just whatever card I can use for the ad. And then I'll email you a confirmation of that as well. So either Visa Master or Amex. Okay. Okay, perfect. Which card works best? Uh, so you're not using the one that's attached to it? No, because I'm not attached to your account. I'm just attached to your page. So I just okay. click a few buttons on my side and I just run it from my end. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to have to go get it. Hold on. No, take your time. Okay, I'm back. Okay. So you'll get you'll get four emails from me, Catherine. One email will be for step one, and then the second email will be the video um, for step one, and then the third email will be an email of, of the actual ad. So I'll send you a snapshot once the ad is live tonight, and then a fourth email will be a confirmation for the ad, like a receipt. So you'll be able to keep that for your records. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'm ready. Um, it's a visa. Mm -hmm. Four two seven zero. Just check for my emails, especially especially after today, because after today, next I think I think the emails because I have a drip system. So all of a sudden now you're going to be in my drip system, right? So now I'm going to have a handful of emails that go out to you, but those emails are all about step three, four, and five. So whenever you're ready for for that, if you need a crash course on how to run these ads, because I already know there's a ton that you're not you're not implementing as far as the setup of the Facebook ad. That's one huge reason why that whole town doesn't know who you are just yet, because there's a few things inside of the Facebook ads manager that you have to set up before you start running these ads. Um, and I can give you, I can give you, I can give you all of them right now and you can do your own due diligence and, and start learning about them. Or I can, you know, teach you that once we get there, but there's a ton of them. One of them is your Facebook pixel. That pixel has to be on your, on your, on your KV core pages. Um, another one that I can help you with is setting up Facebook custom audiences, which is super, super important. And and everyone forgets about that part. That's the most important. No, that's the one I really want to, because that's the people I absolutely know here. That's not strangers. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. no, that's something I wanted to do. And yeah, yeah the KV core really, um, pushes the pixel and no, I'm not there yet. Cause it took me a month just to breathe. <laughs> do they, do they allow you to put your pixel? Or is it their pixel? Do they allow you to, to put your pixel on your pages or is it their pixel? Um, I will, I think it's mine. Not that I know anything about it. Um, but from watching the videos, I think it's, I'd have to look back at my notes because when I went through training, mm -hmm. And it talks about pixels. I kind of skip it, but I think it's, and I had somebody um, set my KB core up so it would run like that and I could do some ads really quick. Okay. Here's the, here's the only question you need to ask them. So whoever that person is, you need to shoot them an email later on and say, Hey, here's what you need to say. You say, Hey, I have one question for you. Can I add my pixel to these pages? And it's either a yes or a no. Okay. Can I add my pixel to these pages? Because without that. She absolutely knows about that. But it oh, was yeah. just for training. She's like, we're going to talk about pixel later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and, I and will see, ask for that. Yeah. And, and what's so crazy is the fact that that's the most important. Yeah. So I know it's very important. Mm -hmm. That's the most, most important is the pixel. And then, and then you got Facebook custom audiences, which are super, super important. 
that's when Facebook starts to allow you to start putting everyone into a bucket, a custom audience. You can kind of think of it as a bucket, a bucket of people, a bucket of people. This bucket of people landed on my page. These bucket of people watched one minute of my two minute video. These bucket of people clicked on learn more, but never gave up their information. These bucket of people actually gave up their information. So all these different buckets of people that are doing different things with your ad, they watched it. They didn't watch it. They clicked on it. They didn't enter their information. All these different people are different audiences. This is a different type of person. What you need to be doing on an ad advertising side through Facebook is setting up these custom audiences. Because if we're running a Facebook video ad, and let's say, for example, it's a three minute video. People who watch two minutes of it, that's a long time. People who watch one minute of a three minute video, one minute of watching anything online is a long time. These people need to see your next ad, but they're not going to see your next ad if you didn't add them to a custom audience. So for example, if it's a three minute video that you ran, we're going to create a custom audience of all those who watched at least one minute of it. Those people in that bucket, they're going to be able to see our next video. And, and, and then another bucket, another custom audience would be, let's say, for example, I see your video, I click on learn more, I go to your landing page, but I never fill out the form. That's another bucket. Those people who got that far, you got that far. There had to been some type of interest. You would have never clicked learn more. You would have never went to my web page. And I'm also targeting you. So I know there's some interest. You just didn't fill out the form for whatever reason. You're going to see my next ad. But if I didn't create a custom audience, if I didn't put you in the bucket of a web page visitor, you would never see my next ad. So we're just leaving so much on the table. We're leaving so many crumbs on the table by not creating these custom audiences. And, 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 and it's what we call retargeting these audiences. If I'm seeing your ad and I keep watching your video, there's an interest. I just haven't clicked learn more, but there's an interest. There's no way I'm gonna watch two minutes of your three minute video if there was no interest. I need to see your next ad. So, so that's where you leave a lot on the table by not retargeting these folks who are actually engaging in your stuff. And that's what we call Facebook custom audiences. So, so that's how you get your entire town to know who you are after just four to five videos, because after from video number one, let's say it's a three minute video. We create a custom audience of everyone who watched one minute. Those people see video number two. Video number two, we're also targeting that area, but we're also retargeting everyone who watched one minute of video number one. Video number three, we're retargeting everyone who watched video number two and video number one. Video number four, we're now retargeting everyone who watched video number one, two, and three. Yeah. So what starts to happen is you, you keep getting in front of the people who are engaging with your stuff. You keep getting in front of the people who are watching your stuff. That's custom audiences. And that's yeah. what most don't do. Most don't do that. That's from the video, from watching the video standpoint. But then you also have when they click learn more and they go to your web page, but they never fill out the form. That's another standpoint where if they get to the page, we need to know that. That means that your pixel has to be on that page. That means that you have to have a custom audience. And these are people that we call website visitors. They landed, I, but never filled out the form. I just saw something in my notes when I went through the training and it says we were talking about um, running the ad, choosing, you know, creating the custom audience who's good to choose, save it. And then we started talking about automatic placements, choose how yep. much money it says. This is just very generic, but it says choose Facebook pixel, set it up when you can. Mm -hmm. oh, and that's all I have. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that needs to be set up first. First, like number one, that is literally number one. That's not whenever you can, -uh, that's number one. Now, now yeah. again, it's only number one when you're sending me to a web page. If you're sending me to a web page, if you're sending me to a KB Core page, my, that pixel, that's number one. If you're not sending me to, to a page, okay, cool. Do it whenever you can. Put it on whatever page because all you're doing is running video ads and, and maybe, maybe you're running Facebook ads to get them to fill out a Facebook form, which is, what, which, is, which is inside of Ads Manager. It's your lead generation objective. That's when you can run ads and use Facebook's form. So those are for, for agents who do not have a KV Core web page. So they're not telling people to click learn more to go to my KV Core page. They're just having people click learn more and Facebook provides a page. 
that's when your pixel is whenever you can. That's when your pixel is not even necessary. But if you have a page, that pixel is number one. Right. It has so to be there first. When you when you hear that, does so it's not it's it's so basically I still need to ask her. She's saying choose Facebook pic pixel, set it up. So it sounds like it's mine and mine will connect to KV Core. Okay. Okay. Double check. Double check. Well, okay. Double but check. that's what I'm asking. Either so you're saying, because I don't really understand what it is, you're saying either I have a pixel no, or you do have a pixel. I have to use. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying everyone has a pixel. Anyone who has a Facebook page, we all have our own individual pixel. What I'm saying is that it's your pixel that needs to be on that page, not theirs. Okay. So it's not just it's not just any random Facebook pixel needs to be on my page. No, my my pixel. Inside of Catherine Ron, you have a Facebook account you have a Facebook pixel. That pixel needs to be on your page. So that's okay. the question. Can I add my pixel, my capital M Y, can I add my pixel to the page? And, and, and it. again, it's a yes or no. And, and, I'm, and, and if I'm not. To the KV core pages. To the KV core pages. Yes. To okay. whatever page you're trying to drive me to. If I click on learn more, whatever page that is. Okay. which is your KB core page. Yes. That page needs to have my pixel, not EXPs. Got it. Okay. So that's the question. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, you're, I think the answer is going to be no. I think they have their pixel on the page. Um, I don't think they allow you to add yours, which is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why, but, but from what I, from what I know from other agents, other EXP agents, that's, that's how it is. And that's why they have to go get other landing page software because that's the most important. And again, it's only if you're running ads to a page. There's other ways to run ads, Facebook ads, and, and capture lead without a page. And again, that's lead generation. That's a specific objective through Facebook. That's for people who don't have a page, don't have a KV Core page. So, but, it, but if you do, that pixel, your pixel needs to be on it. And, and again, I, I've spoken to agents where they have to go get their own landing page software because that allows them to add their pixel. And, right. and, and EXP for the KB core for some reason doesn't, but again, you're, there may have been some changes. That's why just double check, double check if you can add your pixel and then, and then just stay in touch. Like I'll send you my cell phone number, text me, call me, message me, email me, whatever. But again, I'll have a handful of emails that go out over the next few days that, that kind of touch on the next few steps. And let's, let's chat about that when, when, when you, when, when you're ready. Okay. Okay. So we'll just run this one for a month. Um, and we'll just let this light count grow and let it, let it just explode over the next, over the next few weeks. And then let's, let's those weeks. Here, here's one thing I'll leave you with. Here's one thing. And I'm glad I, I remembered because I almost forgot. Here's one thing you want to do for sure. This is, this is what I just recommend. This is what I highly, highly recommend. This is your homework. I'll leave you with some simple homework. Here's what you should do. And I don't know if you have a video like that already or, or, or not, but actually you, I don't, you, Actually, yeah, you don't, you don't. Here's the next video. Here's the very, very next video. Work on this one when you can. This is your very, very next video. This is just what I highly recommend. I highly recommend you pulling out your cell phone and going on a two to three minute rant or a one to two minute rant about Catherine. It's a simple intro video. It's not a pitch, it's just an intro. Hey guys, this is Catherine. I just wanted to personally introduce myself. I know a lot of folks out there don't know who I am yet, but I wanted to kind of give you my background, my professional background, my family. It's a video where you're talking about you, your passion, your family, your experience, why EXP, why you love helping people, where you're coming from, why real estate. It's, it's an intro just to kind of get to know Catherine. That simple two minute video is, should be your first step of step three. So as I'm saying, run weekly video ads, that should be your next video. That should be video number one, an intro video. And you simply take that video and you, and, and you push it out to everyone in that local area and get thousands of people to see it. I'm talking thousands. I'm talking like seven, eight, nine, ten thousand. Thousands of people to see it. And then what's so powerful about that intro video is again, the custom audiences. Because what we do then is we then create a custom audience of everyone who watched it. So if you had 10,000 views of that intro video, those are 10,000 people who are going to start seeing video number two, 
video number three, video number four. So all, all you keep doing is retargeting those who watch that first video. That should yeah. be your next video. Intro. And I have so many examples. Like I'll email you again. I have so many friends. I have so many agents. I have so many clients. I have so many that I'll send you. I'll email you a handful of them. Simple, simple videos. I have some friends that do it in their car. I have some friends that just pull out their cell phone in their living room while they're drinking a glass of wine or a cup of coffee, whatever. Keeping it super basic and simple is what you want to do. But it's an intro. And when you run that to your local area, people are like, hey, that's cool. Great to know her. And, and, and you just start to build this rapport fast, like super fast. Again, it's not a pitch. It's an intro. Who mm -hmm. is Catherine and why are you so fired up about real estate? That's what I highly recommend. That should be your next video. And then, and then again, let's chat in, in a couple weeks or so or whenever you're ready. But my email is the drip system. I think it's set for like five, 10 days. But let's chat, chat then. Let's chat then about step three and on. And I'll just help you really, you know, solidify that Facebook ad lead capture side of it all. Okay. Cool. Yeah, sounds good. Send me some examples. I'll do one. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'll send I'll send it to you and then I'll email you everything here in the next few minutes and then and then we'll go from there. But I'll message you my my cell phone. So if you need to call me, text me, feel free to reach out. Okay. So we'll just do we'll do ten dollars a day. And and that that ad will run in the background for the next 30 days or whatever. Yeah, 30 days. But at the same time, you can always start the video. So we can always start that whenever you want. You know, I always say, let's do step one and step two first. And then, and then, you know, maybe go close your next escrow if you need to. And then let's start step three. Cause step three is when you go into now a consistent weekly ad. So obviously there's a budget there for that. Um, this is a one-time like ad, but your step three is, is more consistent. So if needed, close some escrows and then let, let's, let's chat about step three. Cause that's just when we, when we really turn it on. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. Okay, Catherine, God bless you. Message me if you need anything and continue to crush it. Put out that intro video as soon as you can. Okay. All right. Thanks a cool. lot. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.